Okay, here's a really interesting uh, idea for in our strategies for finding limits. Is this is the idea that what happens when we have functions that agree in all but one point. For example, let f of x equal this, and let's find this limit. And you can see why I'm interested in this limit, because if x was 1, we'd have a domain issue here, right? This would be undefined here. But look at this for a second. What if we rewrite this and say, f of x is equal to let's factor let's factor this thing out so let's factor this so if we factor this don't we get x minus 1 times and what is that if we factor that out right this is difference of cubes isn't it so difference of cube that would be this is x squared plus x plus 1 right so I'm suggesting to you that this together is this, but then look what we have here. This, this x minus 1 right here is this x minus 1. And of course, x minus 1 over x minus 1 is 1. So f of x is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. Now we have to remember that x cannot equal 1 here. Isn't that true? But what the theorem says is that if f of x is equal to g of x, if we can change this function, if we can simplify this function into a different function that is the same function, and we didn't change this function, did we? We simplified this function. So we simplified this, and now we're going to say, actually, we're not going to call this f of x, and we're going to call this g of x now. We're going to say, let this be g of x. And if f of x and g of x agree in every place except for one point, then that limit still exists. Then, we can t then we're allowed to take the limit. So we can take the limit, so the limit here, the limit as x approaches 1, right, of x squared plus x plus 1, right, it is, this is that function up here, isn't it? Because we just factored this out and canceled it, so all we did was simplify. Then we, this is a limit that we can take by direct substitution. So we're going to actually substitute this in, and here, this one right here is going to be this one, is equal to 1 squared plus one right plus one all i did was substitute the number one into this equation and the limit is three so we actually can take that limit and the limit is three so what did we what did we do here we simplified right and then we ask ourselves are these exactly the same two functions is this function or this function and this function, are they exactly the same function in every place except for one? And the answer is yes. So we can use that theorem that suggests that we can use that limit. All right? Okay. I think I'm going to wrap that up with that. It's a really kind of cool idea.